Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm going to open a ton of Joaquin's golden chests. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit subscribe button. The Joaquin's event is something that has been going on for a couple of years now and the event rewards and the system have not changed that much. You still have to kill enemies within seven levels of your own and gather coin purses. Those coin purses you can open or buy other containers with at, uh, at the Moonstone Mask where I am right now. You can do that at this merchant, the Joaquin's merchant and in the store you can see that you can buy the Joaquin's strong box for eight coin purses. So these are the coin purses. For 32 Joaquin's treasure chests, you can, uh, for 32 coin purses, you can buy the Joaquin's treasure chest. And for 64 coin purses, you get this new Joaquin's golden chest. The 8 and 32 um, containers have been covered in a previous video of mine. I will put the link to that video in the description in case you want to know the drop rates of uh, those two packs. Uh, or you can also use my new back value analyzer tool, which also has the drop rates in it. Let me demonstrate that real quick. So we have here the new tool. Um, it's now set to the coin purse and here you can see the percentage chances of getting certain drops. So here you can see exactly what the drops is. Rough AD is set to 100%, but you get an average of 179.86 AD per purse. You can also select here the strong box, which is the uh, eight. And you get the chances here. Uh, golden pantaloons was an error here. So maybe I have to redo this uh, test one time. And you can also set it to the chest where you can see the drop rates right here. So the golden chest is new and that one will also be added in this tool after the video of course. Uh, and this tool can also be downloaded by you and used by you. So there's a lot more um, things in here and it's very useful to calculate the value of the box and I will also demonstrate that at the end of the video. I will put the link to the uh, to where you can download this tool also in the description. Um, so what is in these golden chests? Uh, let's go through the tooltip. So first of all, we have the Joaquin's golden cloak. I think that was also in here, right? So this is not something new, and you can also see that in the auction house price, it's worth. A little below 2000 AD, let's say 1700 approximately. Uh, then you have the replica golden pantaloons, which are new. Here you have the normal golden pantaloons. Here you have the replica golden pantaloons. I'm not sure what it really is. There are none on the auction house. So I don't know what the value of this thing is, but when we drop one, we will see what uh, whether it's bound or not. Uh, if it's bound, then I understand why it's not in the auction house. If it's unbound, then maybe you could catch a lot of AD with this. Then we have the golden ropes, which is also a new fashion item. Uh, 40,000 AD right now on the um, PC auction house. We have the golden sleeves, which are not on the auction house for some reason. The golden crown, which is also new. 80,000 AD right now on the auction house. Then we have the Joaquin's hoard, the new artifact. And this one is currently worth 4.2 million AD on the auction house. Really crazy. Uh, I think there's something buggy with this artifact going on, but um, I'm not sure whether that price will stick. But for now, we just keep at that price, 4.2 million. Then we have the shiny coin enchantment, a really new enchantment that you cannot get anywhere else. Uh, a rank five, which is worth 33,000 AD at the moment. So uh, also very overpriced. Uh, the Adorned Mimic, a vanity pet, uh, not on the auction house. I think this will probably be bound to character. I think this is something like the, 
previous event that I did an opening for, you could get a unique pet as well. So I'd, I hope this is not going to mess up my results again of the test. Anyway, you can also get 32 coins of walking. Uh, I have zero right now, so that's nice. We can see how many we get. You can get up to 256,000 rough Astro Diamonds. Uh, I have zero here right now, so we can also check how many we get per box on average. And then you can get rare or epic profession resources. I think that's going to be uh, the obsolete uh, unified elements um, and uh, the rare elemental aggregates or something like that. Maybe they change it to the supplements, but I'm not sure. We will see. We will see. I don't, I don't know if they upgraded it that much. But if it does have the uh, epic um, supplements, that might be a nice thing. Anyway, uh, as you already can see, I have 980 of them. Uh, you probably also read that in the description, by the way. Uh, so let's start opening these and see what's in it. Let's do a couple slowly. So here we got the golden crown. It goes in the profession box, which is very big here. Okay, uh, that's not really a big issue. Oh, I also have some golden pantaloons here. Okay. Uh, I think I did an opening here as well on this tune. So we're going to get the... Uh, um, this one is binds on equip. Let's see, we get 32 cons of Joaquin. Uh, the Joaquin's golden cloak which uh, is unbound, but as I said, not worth that much. 22,000 rough astral diamonds. We are, oh yeah, we don't have AD boost, that's good. We have to keep that in mind, of course. Some more coins, a golden cloak again, golden ropes. Those were also in the auction house, so those will also be unbound, right? We have the ropes and the crown. Just need the sleeves. Uh, that's a shiny coin. Which gives gold gain, XP bonus, and utility, armor penetration, recovery, life still, and max hit points. Okay. Yeah, we are getting very old um, resources, so you can trade these at the retainer for material credits. We are not not getting the new um, supplement items. Adorned mimic. So this is the vanity pet. It's bound to character. It doesn't say that it's unique. Can be used from the inventory. Okay. Shiny coin. I want to know if this one is unique again. It doesn't say unique. Gold. Oh, oh it, does, it gives the normal pantaloons. Okay. So why does it say... Replica golden pantaloons. They're exactly the same, right? Golden pantaloons, fashion pants. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay, so those are worth... I don't know, the, the tooltip is wrong then. Let's change it to golden pantaloons. Fine. Um, then I have to check how many I have right now. 5, 10... Okay, I have 24 already. So I have to remove them at the end, 24. So that I don't mix that up with the drop rates. All right, so that's all clear. We just need to find the sleeves. I want to know if they're, oh, you only may have one of a, a unique item. So I think we got another adorned. Yeah, but it picks a new item. So if you don't get the adorned mimic, you get uh, another item broken dragon egg those are 7000 credits ancient curio apparently that drops also again the golden ropes ancient curio is also in here also not in the description but whatever uh, where does that go actually is it here somewhere, yeah, we have a couple of legendary tools here. I think it's here, right? Ancient Courier. So we already had one, and we get one extra. I remember from the previous one, we also got these. All right.
right, let me see the golden sleeves. Are they actually dropping? Because they are not in the auction house. And the fact that the adorned mimic is not for sale is logical because it's bound to accounts. Yeah, it, it does show a message here. You can only have one of these items. So apparently if you get a drop like that, you get something else. So if you don't want to get this dropped, um, make sure to keep it in your inventory so you get something else. Like for example, uh, a lot of rough AD. See, we got this message, but we got some resources. Still no golden sleeves. Yeah, we got quite a few already. So it might be that they are just not dropping. Golden ropes. Let's just uh, go through these a little bit more quickly because otherwise we will be here. Oh, here's the Joaquin's Horde already within a hundred. So this one is worth a lot of AD at the moment. Um, yeah, we will see at the end whether I get the golden sleeves. Let's continue opening them. I can see it at the right actually. Then we got a 256,000 rough AD. So we already have a lot of rough AD from a hundred and something, uh, over 200 boxes. We also already got a million rough AD. I think the golden sleeves do not drop. That's what I'm getting from this. Three walking swords. We get a lot of walking swords. So this is very good. Then this means that we get a very decent indication of the drop rate. And with that, a decent indication of how much this box is worth. Because is it? Uh, it's unbound, right? Okay, I didn't check how much is worth on the auction house. But I will be able to tell you at the end how much it should be worth. So a little over 80 more to go. We already have 4 million rough AD. Alright, that's it. Uh, so let's start with the rough AD. We got 4.102 million of them. Um, 4102. So that's uh, 4,186 rough AD per pack. Uh, the rest I um, will do uh, offline, so I'll be back with you uh, in a minute when I counted everything and then I will be back with the total evaluation of how much this thing is worth. Alright, uh, I'm back with the results. Uh, I've opened 980, let me fix that. So, we're going to use actually the new bag value analyzer to see what um, we got uh, here you can see you can see here how many i got this is rounded to two decimals because but because the percentages are very uh, focused to this amount you get all round numbers so um what we can see golden cloaks we got 12.96% uh, golden pantaloons 2.65 a pretty low percentage actually for such a cheap item golden ropes 6.43 golden sleeves we didn't get at all which I think is a mistake in the packs they should be dropping uh, the golden crown we got 5% of the time exactly 5% uh, the walking's hoard 
0.92% of the time. The shiny coin enchantment 8.26. Adorned Mimic we did get, but I don't know exactly how often. So this is very difficult to um, add in here because it's unique and that's always a difficult thing. The coins of Joaquin, different problem. Uh, it's kept to uh, 500, so you can only have a max of 500 in here. And I definitely got more of those. So uh, that also doesn't really work. Then the two, uh, the rough AD, uh, we got a total of the, what did I tell you guys, 4.1 million. So that means an average of 4186 AD per bag. Then Epic Profession Resource, we got 53, and Rare, we got 739. Of course, these are all uh, obsolete. We got the old Dragon Eggs, we got Mining Claims, uh, Arcane Shards, Eldritch Crystals. So these are all worth quite a bit of uh, material credits, actually. So you can use them to get new materials and make some money off that. So it's definitely not a loss that we get all stuff in there. Uh, so I did add some value, the Epic profession so the dragon axe i gave 7000 ad of value there are 7000 credits um that's probably worth more uh, but you can use them as a workshop upgrades or whatever i just put some value in here rares i gave a little bit less value but it doesn't really make a huge difference the biggest uh, amount is in here biggest ad uh, we also got nine ancient curios. Uh, I don't know what they're worth. I don't think no, you cannot sell them because they're a currency. But yeah, just for completeness, I also added that. Uh, per container, we come to a value of fifty-two thousand nine hundred and ninety AD. So each one of these golden chests that you open is worth this much, and in total, because we opened nine hundred and eighty. This was 51,930,000 AD. So if you can buy them on the auction house for less than this, statistically it's worth it. It's worth a chance. Uh, this is of course on PC. Um, so that was that. What I still want to try is this adorned mimic because we can use it apparently from here. And this is what it looks like. It's a tiny mimic, which does it follow you around? It does. It's pretty cute. Do we have a companion? Can we have a companion and a mimic at the same time? Yes, we can. So this is just an extra pet that you can have running around. Can we use it again? Does it, does it uh, disappear? How does it work? No, it just stays. So I have no idea when it disappears. Maybe if I dismiss my pet. Nope. Okay, it just stays. Whatever. It's all okay. And then we have this walking's hordes. I don't think I'm gonna try that, but what we're going what we're going to do is try on this fashion stuff. We're going to wear the golden crown. And we're going to wear one of these golden ropes to see what that looks like. Uh, Fay what leggings. So we don't have the sleeves, but yeah, without the body uh, bottom part, this looks a little bit weird. I guess what we can do is put on the golden pantaloons on uh, below, and then we have this look. It's uh, very golden. If you like golden, you can go for this. I understand why this golden crown is going for quite a bit. Well, it looks very flat actually, but uh, actually the ropes look very cool. So yeah, um, I think that covers everything. We still have the shiny enchantment, but that's just gold gain and XP bonus. It's, n it's nothing new really, it's just a different distribution. Uh, the same for the offense and defense slots is also nothing really special unless you really need it. But the price, uh, 33,000 AD, I don't think it's worth it to be honest. 
So that concludes the video. If you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.